My name is Oscar Contreras. Um, I am a seminarian at the House of Formation here at the Queen of Angels in Torrance. And this is my vocation story. Um, I think one way or another, I kind of always knew what God was calling me to, like ever since I was little. Like I remember doing maybe things that are not too common. <laughs> like I remember trying to consecrate, <laughs> like when I was little, like turning water into wine. And like that kind of like just called me. Like God kind of called me in, in like in that sense of, of playing around, but not really playing around, you know, like God was already calling my heart when I was little. And it wasn't always easy to like hear the voice of God in my life. And it's still sometimes a struggle because it depends on what state of mind I'm in or if I am receptive to God. I think I often, uh, as I did in my youth, tend to lose focus of um, what God is calling me to. But then he has a way of, of calling the heart. He has a way of of making one fall in love. And the only reason why I'm here is because I am in love. <laughs> like I, I am in love with him. He, he he makes himself shown and he ma makes himself known in at least in my life and you know to someone who who calls you that way who who makes you f them who makes you fall in love with them that that leaves a longing for them in the heart and i kind of you know i was i was pretty active in the church um when i was younger uh, my sister was part of a youth group, and I would attend. And I don't know, like, I just felt at ease. I felt at peace. Um, like, I felt loved and wanted. And I knew it was God who loved and wanted me. And even, you know, if there was, like, hardships going on at home or whatnot, like, he loved me. Um, you know, I, I come from a broken family. If, uh, you know, I think a lot of people nowadays, it, it's very common, you know, to grow up with, without a mom or a dad. And like, it was my case. Like I grew up without a dad and it was, like, it was tough, but I wasn't alone. And like, that just showed me like in, in the walk of life that, like I wasn't alone and that God was with me. And at some point, like in my life, I remember, you know, maybe being like 16 or 17 and just telling God, hey God, like whatever you want, whatever you want in my life, then let it be. If you call me to do what not, then I shall do what not. For I am with you and you are with me and I love you. And I wanna love you every day of my life. And like he, he kept on like going to the center of my heart and said to the point where I couldn't deny what he was calling me to. You know, he was calling me to to love him, yes. He was calling me to love humanity. He was calling me to give myself out for something greater. You know, as I was um, a kid that was broken because I came from a broken family. Like I felt that God was calling me to the broken, to the poor, to the hungry, to the thirsty. And I couldn't say no to that. He has opened wide the walls of my heart. And he has taught me how to love. For the longest time I had forgotten how to do that. But he weaved himself in my life. And this is how I'm here. Maybe someday I'll get to share the full story. But for now, in these short <laughs> five minutes, I present to you the short version of my of my call to seminary and if God wants to the priesthood. One thing I do ask, and this is to pray for me before you go to sleep.
Should you remember Oscar? Just pray to the Lord. As I pray for you. I love you. Take care.